Hey there! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is part 3 of my ACNH Critterpedia series. If you haven't seen those already, the videos are right there in the iCard and the links are in the description. Aside from that, are you ready to dive into the ocean and discover all the amazing sea creatures of Animal Crossing New Horizons? Are you ready to uncover Animal Crossing's underwater mysteries? Well, I know I am. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! To kickstart this video, let's first discuss how to get sea creatures. Sea creatures only live in the surrounding ocean, and as you may or may not know, you need a wetsuit to get into the ocean. To obtain your preferred wetsuit, you can buy one at the Nook Stop Terminal and Resident Services through the Nook Miles Redemption or Nook Shopping Apps. Alternatively, you can buy a wetsuit at Nook's Cranny or in Nook's Tent from Timmy if you haven't already unlocked Nook's Cranny. Then, put on your wetsuit, head to a beach, go in front of the water, and press the A button on your switch to hop on in the water. To catch the sea creatures themselves, though, you will need to get in the water and swim until you see bubbles floating to the surface of the water. Then, press the Y button on your switch to go under the water. Eventually, when you are over the shadowed figure or the sea creature, the game will automatically grab the creature and send you back up to the surface of the water, showing you what you caught. If you see bubbles coming from your player, it is the game's sign that you ran out of air and that you will then immediately be brought back to the surface. Note that some sea creatures will be faster than others, so you may have to chase that speedy creature around. If that ever happens, I recommend luring it into a corner or into the ocean barrier, and trapping it there so that you can catch it, no matter which way it tries to escape. Moving on to the sea creatures themselves, there are 40 different species to collect. If you want to know every single creature in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you can look down below in the description for the ACNH Critterpedia link. Just so you know, the online Critterpedia is exactly what it sounds like. It lists every single bug, fish, and sea creature in ACNH while still holding the game's actual Critterpedia layout and structure. Anyways, there are, I believe, three categories of sea creatures, common, rare, and legendary. Each category has its own characteristics that define itself. Starting with the common category, the starring creatures in this category include seaweed, the anemone, and the acorn barnacle. I can imagine that all of you watching who have played the game before know that they have somehow intoxicated the oceans of all players, especially since it is the sunny season. Aside from that, these common creatures only sell for just over 1,000 bells each, making them invaluable and repetitive. Moving on to the rare sea creatures, this category includes sea creatures like the firefly squid, the gazami crab, and the oyster. These creatures aren't really common, nor are they legendary finds. These creatures, approximately, range from 2,000 to 400 bells each. They are valuable, but they could be taken to a whole new level as far as value goes, which leads into the legendary sea creatures. These creatures include the red king crab, the vampire squid, and the Giga's giant clam. Though this is not true, I feel as though Nintendo is trying to tease us with these creatures. I have caught a few, like the vampire squid and Giga's giant clam, however, there are just so many that I have not personally caught. For those who have finished the sea creature Critterpedia section, you have my full respect. These legendary fish range in sale prices from 1500 bells all the way up to 15,000 bells. I don't know about you, but these sea creatures are pretty hefty and valuable finds. And now, the thing you all have not asked for but I am making it anyway. Fun facts about Animal Crossing. Okay, let me explain. This is a speed round that concludes every guide video from here on out that includes fun facts about Animal Crossing New Horizons, and the specific topic of that guide video. Okay, are you ready? Firstly, according to Reddit user NA16, link to their post in the description, the more bubbles a sea creature produces, the larger the creature is. 
This means that a few amount of bubbles means that the sea creature is common, as mentioned previously. Number 2. Tying into the previous fact, though the large shadow stereotype, there is one large sea creature that stands out, and that is the Giga's giant clam. It has a large shadow, ruling over its common tier peers, and they are the most valuable sea creature as far as bells go, selling for 15,000 bells each. And number 3, though what many think, the actual most likely creature that one can catch in the game, on average, is the sea grapes creature. I bet most of you were thinking seaweed, weren't you? Whoa, that was a lot. But that pretty much wraps it up for today. If you enjoyed be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that little notification bell so you never miss another upload. Also, in case you forgot, my social pages, along with the Critterpedia website and my Critterpedia guide series, are linked in the description below if you want to check those out. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.